Hello, today I'll be showing you how to ins install Half Byte Loader 109 onto your PSP system. Um, your PSP can be a PSP Go, it can be a PSP 3000, but your PSP has to have official firmware 6.20 or below. If you have six, if you have any f official firmware higher than 6.20, read my description. All right. First, you're gonna go to the first link I have for you, my description um, of this video, and download the um, uh, half byte. Uh, download the Patapon 2 save game for half byte loader, and this is the save data exploit, and it should look like this, and it should be the first download button, and just click on it to download it. Alright, next you're going to scroll down and download the half by loader revision 109 stable for Patapon 2 exploit. And just it should look like this and download that. After you have those two files downloading, um, go to the second link I have for you and it should be the PSP Demo Center website. And from here you'll download the Patapon 2 demo. And you can just click on that to download it. Right after you have those files downloaded, um, hook your PSP up to your computer and open it up. From there, go to your PSP folder and go to your game folder. Now open up your Patapon 2 demo and just drag it into the game folder. And now you have the Patapon 2 demo on your PSP. After you do that, um, push back twice and you'll end up at the root of your PSP. We're going to now install the half byte loader revision 109. Open that up, and you have two files hbl and h.bin. Copy those two files and drag them to the root of your PSP, like this. Since I already have them on there, I'm just going to press cancel. Now we're going to put the save data exploit in there as well. Uh, go to your PSP folder on your PSP go to the save data folder and open up your save data file that you downloaded it should look like this, open it up and just drag it in there so that, since I already have it on there I'm just gonna press no but of course yours should be pasting right away now you have everything you need installed on your PSP for you to um, load half by loader and now I'm gonna show you how to load it on your PSP alright so now just uncook your PSP and load up Patapon 2 once you have everything installed just gonna wait for that to load Sorry for the long wait, if you're an impatient, sorry. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue. So press continue. And you should have the save data exploit on there and enter. Alright, um now it's loading. Push any button. Now it's gonna ask you to push the R trigger. So push the R trigger. Now this is gonna pop up. Hopefully, if this pops up, that means you installed it correctly, and now you have Half Byte Loader on your PSP, which you can run Homebrew on. You can run Homebrew, Homebrew, Homebrew games. You can run. You can't run ISOs or CSOs. You can't run backup games. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna load a emulator for you. I'm gonna load a. I'm gonna load G. GSS GPSP Kai. Game Boy Advance emulator. So right now, if you if you saw that screen, 
for the half byte loader you installed it correctly man good job now go put emulators on it go put homebrew games on it go have fun with it I'm gonna load up a game for you to prove to you that this is pretty neat um, Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna load up Mario Kart. And there it is. Half byte loader on your PSP. PSP go. Now you can play emulators on your PSP Go without even having custom firmware. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it worked out for you. If this video did not work out for you, all you need to do is comment and put your um, PSP firmware and tell me what happened and what went wrong. And I'll help you as soon as I can. I'll reply. Now... This service will only last for a temporary amount of time. I'm not going to help people forever. So if you have any problems, uh, ask me right away. And hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Um, goodbye.